The character I play, G.H. Hardy, um, he wrote a, 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 a slim volume called The Mathematician's Apology. And when I read that, I thought, ah, I see, pure mathematics is actually like painting, it's like art, it's like literature, it's, it's uh, a voyage of discovery, it's really exciting, there are no rules. Um, and you can be passionate about it in a way that I found quite difficult to be path passionate about the mathematics I was taught at school. So, I mean, I, I think any movie that moves an audience has to have... Um, uh, the audience have to care about the relationships within the movie. Uh, and here he is at... I can't remember what age he was, 54, 55, my age, you know, 60. Um, and he's been concentrating on mathematics all his life. So he's never had time for relationships. So emotion, the, his emotional life is completely stunted, but it begins to stir when he meets this extraordinary Indian man who loves what he loves, which are numbers. Jeff, can you come down, please? Why is he not looking? Gentlemen, gentlemen, to the right, together, to the right. Gentlemen, to the right, right here. To the right. There you go, nice to do. We kind of didn't agree on many things, and it took them a while to kind of respect each other's points of views. Yes, yeah, they have very different ideologies. Um, Ramanujan was a, you know, a very, you know, faith-driven man, whereas G.H. Hardy was all about proofs and and rigor and atheism and Ramanujan believed all his kind of best theories were a gift from God so that's where they kind of butted heads so to find that common ground was you know the difficulty. Yeah, yeah I mean it was kind of uh, my accent coach is right down there actually his name is Raghavir Joshi and we spent uh, yeah I think it wasn't so much the math that appealed to me it was more this you know this amazing human being and trying to you know, bring his legacy to a wider audience. Uh, I was ashamed that I didn't really know of him to begin with. And, um, you know, the story was so vast and touching and triumphant. Um, the fact that this man rose through so much adversity and kind of achieved so much is so inspiring. One more look here. Great. And one more Thank you. Yep. And right here for one. And one more next one. Let's do it. There you go. Great. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. As a filmmaker, you've got to tell drama and you have to have conflict. And I felt like this was a, a, an incredible human drama. And the mathematics of it all, I mean, I came to see them as artists. So I think that we can all relate to the passion that an artist has for their work, whether it's mathematics as pure mathematicians are or whether it's painting or um, or music. And straight ahead, beautiful. And straight ahead, straight ahead. I thought Indians are ugly and they say it as a compliment. I'm like, that's so, that's so racist. Um, but just things like that, you know, so, but it's the kind of thing that I think that there's a lot of change. I mean, there is a human element to the story. Um, it's about relationships and um, what happens when you have a fear to connect in those relationships. And um, Jeremy Irons' character and Dev Patel's character have this beautiful friendship that um, ends too soon. And I have a, a relationship as well with Ramanujan that is also tragic in its own way. I would say not really. I've been uh, my existence is a lot more blessed than what you know what he went through to achieve what he did. Um, you know, we're standing on the shoulders. Not only 